welcome back to another exciting episode on math trick i am coach tenny multiplication is a fundamental operation in math but it can be time consuming especially when you are dealing with large numbers however there are various methods one can use to multiply fast and easily to make uh, the learning of math fun and entertaining this multiplication trick I'm about to share will help you perform your calculations swiftly with few steps using lines you can multiply two numbers efficiently without the use of calculators. Let's take some examples on how you can use lines to make your multiplication easily and very fast and accurate. Example number one, if you are asked to multiply 12 by 13, that is 12 times 13, you simply draw lines. We have one, so I'm going to draw one line here. And this is two. I'm going to leave uh, some gap and I'll draw two lines. So we come to the opposite direction. I'm going to draw one line here because this is one, and I'll draw three lines here one, two, and three. Then looking at it, you will see that there is a dot that is formed by the intersection of the lines. So locate the dots. For example, in this part we have, there is a dot here formed by the intersection. There is another dot here formed by this intersection. Another one here, another one here. Dot, a dot. Okay, dot, 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 and dot. So now we're going to pick them. How do we pick the, this thing? So now, for this we have one two three four five six for this middle one we have one two three four five and for this one we have one so our answer for 12 multiplying 13 is one five six 156. So let's take example number two. So if we're asked to multiply 14 by 22, that is 14 times 22, I'm going to draw one line to represent one, four lines, leave a gap, and then draw four lines to represent four, move to the opposite direction, and then represent two with two lines. Leave a gap and represent the other two with two lines. All right, then let us look for the point of intersection that gives us a dot. We have another one here. So we have another dot. We have um, a dot. Okay, so we pick from here. We pick here. So we count from the right hand side. Always count from the right hand side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This gives us eight. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember in maths, you do not put two digits. You put down the digits at the right hand side, which is zero because it's ten. And you move one to this side. Here we have one, two. Plus that one that we moved to this side, it will give us 3. So 14 times 22 is 308. This trick is not limited to two digits numbers. You can also use it to solve for questions that contains as much digits as possible. Just make sure you draw the lines according to the digits that are in the questions and uh, trace the dots that are formed by the intersection of the lines. So now let's take a, an example on a three digits multiplication. Now, if we are asked to multiply 123 by 321, so I'll draw one line to represent one, leave a gap, I'll draw two lines to represent two, I'll leave a gap and I'll draw three lines to represent three. All right, then to the opposite direction, I'm going to draw three lines this way. One, two, and three. I'm going to draw two lines. One, two, and I draw one line here to represent my numbers. Okay, so now let's look for our points of intersection. We have...
okay so the first one we have this side we have another one this way we have this is the middle so we have this way and we have this way and this one forms the middle so you have one this way you have one this way you have two this way you have two this way and you have the one in the middle so now let's count this is one two three so this gives us three this is one two three four five six seven eight and this gives us eight here So this gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Remember, we can only write 4 and we carry 1 to the side. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus this one gives us 9. Then this is 1, 2, 3 and this is 3. So our answer will be 3, 9, 4, eight and three when you multiply 123 by 321. thank you for joining me today i hope you are excited about today's video if you enjoyed this video please like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so for more math tricks see you next week